all used to seeing television antennas on roofs. They've been around for many years. But with streaming taking over from broadcast television, will these antennas become an icon of the past that's seldom seen? There are many different types that we can see. The basic Yagi here, for example. And there are many variations on this theme with beam antennas with X-shaped elements. And there are what are called bow tie antennas. And of course, many other types. Then there's the log periodic antenna with its decreasing element size and this gives a wide frequency coverage or bandwidth for when stations use very different frequencies. But occasionally it's possible to see very much older TV antennas that have remained in place after they've stopped being used. Those dating back to the days of 405 line television in the UK for example. These broadcasts were phased out in the last century, with the last transmissions in the very early part of 1985 in the UK. But we still see some antennas dating back to this period, like this X antenna for the BBC Band 1 broadcasts around 50 MHz. Or this H antenna, combined with a Yagi. The H was used for the BBC transmissions, while the vertical Yagi was used for the Band 3 independent television or ITV transmissions, which had frequencies around 200 MHz. These antennas have lasted for over 40 years, and I wonder how many of the modern TV antennas will last this long. If you need to know any more, head over to the video description, and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like the video, and also watch more of our videos. Thank you. Thank you.